Hey, hey Brian, you. you're on with the guys. I'm going to disappear now so you can start when you're ready. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you both of you to uh, for for doing this. Uh, the first question I want to ask is, uh, um, you're both obviously playing sort of children of legacy characters. And mm. I'm wondering how much studying you did of the original movie or even other performances of Val Kilmer and, and Joanne Whaley. Mm. That's yeah. a great question. Actually. It is a great question. And genuinely a lot. So much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, having access to like our such in-depth character like footage of our parents I think mm. was really awesome and like watching their performances and seeing learning about their characters and also creative like having the freedom to like envision them as parents and sort of envision being their child and having them having Mad Mardigan raise you was a very interesting mm -hmm. thing to play with and yeah i mean also the thing that i loved about your question is the other performances and the the other yeah. things other than willow i mean because that is that was a big part of it just trying to like get a sense of this these two people's spirit yeah. and who they are and it was really lovely because we got to kind of like artistically fall in love with both of those actors in in, in, yeah. a, in a lot uh with a lot closer proximity to them than we ever had before i mean like yeah. they just have done amazing things, and Joanne obviously we got to know and was mm -hmm. was like a legitimate like mom, mom. which was so calming and also, amazing. Yeah, I also read Valkymer's book, which was really interesting. I bought and his he, poetry book. He, you did? Yeah. I don't know. You did? I'll show it to you. But you were reading his book. It was yeah, of course, it was great. Um, but his book was really interesting because he talked about filming Willow and he talked about uh -huh. you know yeah like playing that character and what set was like it was it was yeah cool. and the Val documentary a lot of Val stuff was coming out at the same time yeah so uh, obviously Willow um was an important pre-established property for a lot of people was there any pressure stepping into the world of Willow for either of you especially with that sort of familial uh uh, touch to the characters you're playing yeah i mean it didn't you, you, the beautiful thing about willow fans i i'll speak mm. personally but i think it's probably true for everyone is that it never felt like pressure it just felt like an opportunity i think mm. that maybe you know um of 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 all fans not all the fandoms but of a lot of fandoms i've noticed that willow seems to be just very enthusiastic and loving mm -hmm. but a little less strict which kind of gave mm -hmm. us like some leeway, some creative leeway to say, okay, well, we're going to honor the original and the original characters to the best of our ability. But then also we had this opportunity to sort of add to the world, to mm -hmm. create our own thing and, and carve ourselves out. And I think that's what, what I tried to do as a an actor, but also that what we tried to do as a creative team. Mm -hmm. Totally. And I mean, definitely we want to do them justice because the, it is such a an iconic, beloved film. Um, but I... It was, yeah, it's, I'm just really excited. I hope people, I hope people like it. Mm. <laughs> I want to ask, um, filming that intro to the cast video, it seemed like yeah. uh, uh, Warwick is, is a very hilarious presence on set. It seems like, is that how, like, how does the tenor of shooting actually match that view that they gave for the teaser? <laughs> is that as far off as it might seem? And the meet the cast, it's oh. exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> Warwick is the sweetest person so not at all like to meet the cast but that humor of just making fun of each other and being comedic was that's authentic oh, we were laughing and cheeky. like all yeah he's hilarious really funny in fact we just found out that he's been basically I think he's been talking talking shit about us comedically in interviews and oh, we're yeah. and we're over here being like we love work and last night we were talking he was like yeah i've not said one nice word about about you guys and that's and he, so funny i remember he said he, he in an interview i saw it of him being like yeah it was really hard for the younger kids to like pretend like something was behind the camera when it really wasn't and that you know me and jo joanne were really good at it but they really struggled that's so funny because it's so like that's like That's a comedic so risk. Like he's just very fun. He's like yeah. he's a comedian in a lot of ways that I don't I don't think people know because unless you've maybe seen Life's Too Short or Meet the Cast, he's just really really funny and risky. <laughs> his work in the Meet the Cast. <laughs> his work in the Meet the Cast video is paramount <laughs> unfairly. Well, I, I'm uh, I'm out of time. I wanted to thank you both for for talking to me. These these are really quick, but uh, uh, I really enjoyed the show and I can't wait to see the finale. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for thank the question. You so thank much. you for saying that. Have a good rest of your day. It was great to meet you. You too. Likewise. Thanks, Brian. Thanks.